Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we're taking a look at the Pixio PX245C gaming monitor. This is a 24 inch AMD FreeSync 144Hz gaming monitor from Pixio. Now, this resells for about $249. Uh, what you have here is a monitor that has built in speakers, stand, you've got free sync, a lot of features packed into it. And I have to say, though, I really enjoyed using this monitor. The overall build quality is nice. It's uh, it's a plastic build, of course. Uh, the display is it uses is an SV display, so it's not a TN panel. So you get actually just a better view rate. It's also got a slight curve to it. It's about 178 degrees, which I will say doesn't matter too much in terms of the grand scheme of things. Now, what you have here is uh, buttons at the very bottom which can give you quick access to change different settings within the monitor and it uses a power plug directly and you've got HDMI as well as DVI to HDMI as DVI ports for this monitor now in terms of viewing and what you get picture quality wise it's actually a pretty good monitor overall uh, I would say uh, it's got nice color um, reproduction also a very good viewpoint but of course you guys care about gaming that's all you care about this because this is a gaming monitor 144 Hertz so we're testing this with our um, Ryzen 3 build with a GTX 1050 Ti so you're gonna see it goes about 70 80 maybe 100 frames per second not really hitting 144 but that's because of course of the kind of build we use here uh, with this but that being said though what you have here gaming wise is something that's really smooth there is no flickering whatsoever you've got three milliseconds response time which of course is really important Getting that shorter response time, you know, goes a long way. Now, um, as you can see here, we're playing Battlefield 1, and yeah, we're doing about 60 frames per second, really steady, uh, no drops. The monitor is just really nice to use for something this cost-effective. Uh, I'll say this is one of the better um, 1080p monitors at 144 hertz that I've used at this price range that I think does a really good job in giving you that clear representation uh, of what you want while gaming. Uh, with this, so it's a really solid and smooth experience using the uh, the PX two four five C while gaming. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the menu systems that you have with this and how easy it is to actually change from different settings uh, from one to another. One of the things you'll notice is that you've got different settings like FPS, uh, game mode, movie mode, and also you can see there's a, cur uh, there's a cursor on the screen. So you can change the cursor. Uh, this allows you to aim well in FPS games, but going back to some of those settings features, you can go ahead and change and cycle between the settings in terms of uh, the kind of games you're playing. So if you're playing an FPS like uh, Battlefield 1, uh, the of course the color sensing and gamut basically matches what you're playing at that time. Now, a lot of monitors have this, but this is pretty, pretty quick and easy. I wish the, the menu system was a little bit more in depth and also had a better look and feel to it. But overall, I liked that it was very simple enough to cycle through. Now look at a game like Doom, where we're doing higher frame rates. You've also got uh, darker settings and also a vibrant mix of colors from greens, reds, blue. You can see how well, again, the monitor does uh, as we go ahead and we uh, put some gameplay in here. Uh, it's really smooth. Again, Doom is such a fast-paced game, so you know the higher frame rates you can get, the higher uh, refresh rate your monitor can do, the better your gaming experience with a game like Doom. So that is, is really warranted, and this monitor handles that really well. Uh, so you know, if you're looking for something that is cost-effective, as something that you know um, adds to your build, depends on what your build is. But if you're doing a cheaper build or you're doing a medium price build and you want to get a 1080p monitor that will do 144 hertz and not break the bank this is the monitor that will do it for you now the one thing i'll say that i, I i'm not too fond of is the fact that it doesn't support a versa stand so you cannot use pixio's versa stand or any it usually it basically comes with its own stand uh, which is short allows you to tilt and move in certain angles but that's pretty much it overall though the ex gaming experience itself directly from the pixio uh, px245 uh, C is solid and I think a lot of gamers will appreciate that especially its price point so if you guys have any questions or any comments about this monitor let me know or you're looking to pick it up you can definitely use our Amazon link down below I want to thank you guys for supporting us and using the link for all your purchases it's always great to see you guys using it so I thank you a lot again if you want to pick up this monitor we have an Amazon link for you otherwise don't forget to like and share this video favor this video definitely subscribe to the channel and once you do hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. This is Thunder E saying thank you very much and always enjoy your entertainment.